Hello everyone, this is Girish Godhani. Welcome to my channel. Today we are here to discuss about NCERT Class 7 Geography Chapter 6 that is Natural Vegetation and Wildlife. So, have, before we start with the chapter, I would like to ask a question from you all. Have you ever wondered why the natural vegetation over your place and the mountainous areas varies? Have you ever noticed a kind of difference between the vegetation found over the plains and the vegetation found over the mountainous regions and the plateaus and the other regions as well? If yes and you want to know why, here is the video for you all. So let's begin. First of all, I would like to discuss what is natural vegetation. So natural vegetation is the plants that grow naturally without the interference of the human being okay and when we talk about the natural vegetation there are several factors that work behind the growth of these plants because they occur naturally so there are some natural factors that works behind it so that is the temperature and the rainfall in other words it's also known as moisture other than these two there are two more factors that actually work that is slope and the thickness of the soil nevertheless uh, we will be talking about most about the temperature and the rainfall in this chapter so before we go ahead i would like to discuss the types of natural vegetation so do you know how many types of natural vegetations are there there are three types of natural vegetation first forest second grasslands and third is shrubs so there are three types of natural vegetations forest grasslands and shrubs so here we are going to discuss about the forest part so let me tell you there are six main types of forests there are six main types of forests first that is tropical forest which is further divided into tropical evergreen and temperate evergreen then we find the tropical deciduous and temperate deciduous then we find the material forest and then we find the coniferous forest so there are six main types of forests and in order to understand this forest in very details in very easy and the simplest way we need to break down the terms and understand it what each and every term actually means there's a meaning behind each and every term that is used to define, that is used to name this forest. So first, we'll talk about tropical. What does the word tropical means? As you all know, that near the equator, you'll find there are two tropic of tropics, that is Tropic of Cancer and Tropics of Capricorn, towards the north and south respectively. So, if a vegetation that grows from the equator and extends till the both the tropics to the both the sides of the tropics then it is known as tropical kind of vegetation same thing happens with the tropical forests as well so the forest that actually grows near from the equator till the tropics is known as tropical kind of forests then comes the second term that is temperate so temperate is from the tropic of cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn towards the north and south respectively if there are some vegetations that are grown that are known as temperate kind of vegetation or temperate kind of forest okay so they actually extends from 23 degree north to 66 degree north and 23 degree south to 66 degree south of the equator now when we talk about the evergreen and deciduous so evergreen as it is very clear with their name they do not shed their leaves altogether there will be a there will be some group of trees in that forest which will not shed their leaves at that particular time although they will shed their leaves but at a different time period okay and whereas deciduous are the forest, they shed their leaves all together. There is dry seasons in the deciduous kinds of forest, whereas there is no dry season in the evergreen forest. 
evergreen forests are very dense in nature whereas deciduous forests are not very dense they aren't much dense in nature now let's talk about the tropical evergreen forest that is the first and foremost forest so these tropical evergreen forests are also known as tropical rain forest because it rains almost every day here these dense forests grow near the equator and they are close to the tropics that's why known as tropical evergreen forest these places are actually hot because it receives the sunlight much as if they are near the equator and they also receive the heavy rainfall throughout the year so the land is dark and damp over here now why they are dark the forests are so dense that it does not allow the sunlight to penetrate and reach to the ground so they are dark in nature they do not shed their leaves all together and they do not have the dry season now you know they have thick canopies with the closely spaced trees which does not allow them no, allow the sunlight to penetrate and reach inside the forest even in the day time and the uh, uh the plants that are found here are rosewood ebony mahogany these are the examples of the plants that are found over here in such kinds of forest other than that there is tropical deciduous forest now what are this tropical deciduous forest these are also known as the monsoon forest which are actually found in the large part of the india northern australia and in the central america these forest actually experience the seasonal changes and they actually shed their leaves in dry season to conserve the water the example of such trees which are found in this forest are sal teak neem shisham etc other than this let me tell you these trees are used for making the furnitures for transport for constructional materials now the wildlife which are found here are the tigers monkeys elephants lions langurs these are some kinds of animals that are found living in these forests you must have notice these all animals in india as well after that we move to the next type of forest that is temperate evergreen forest when we talk about the temperate evergreen forest these forests are located in the mid latitudinal coastal regions other than that these are commonly found in the southeast asia south china and southeast brazil these are the forest which comprises of both kinds of trees whether it is hardwood trees or the softwood trees you will find both kinds of trees over here the example of the trees found over here are oak pine eucalyptus cedar etc now other than that the next comes is the temperate deciduous forest now this temperate deciduous forest are found at the higher latitudes there are more temperate deciduous kinds of forest now uh these are actually found in the northeastern part of usa china new zealand chile and also in the coastal regions of western europe they actually shed their leaves in the dry summer season the example of this trees are oak ash beech etc the animals found over here are deer foxes wolves whereas when we talk about the birds it is the pheasants and monarchs that are very common over the temperate deciduous forest after the temperate deciduous forest next comes the term of uh, mediterranean vegetation now what is this mediterranean vegetation so mediterranean vegetation is actually the vegetation which is basically found near the mediterranean sea okay so the west and south margins of the continents have mediterranean vegetation which is actually found near the mediterranean sea and these continents are like europe africa and asia now 
as it is found in the Mediterranean region, there are few Mediterranean region other than this Europe, Africa and Asia. There are few Mediterranean regions are there in uh, California and USA, uh, Southwest Africa, South America, Southwest Australia, etc. Now, the, when we talk about the characteristics, the climatic characteristics of this Mediterranean vegetation, it is actually characterized by the hot dry summers and mild rainy winters. The citrus fruits are grown over here. For example, the orange, figs, olives and grapes. That's why you'll find the large vineyards over the Mediterranean kinds of forest. And you'll be surprised to know that there is, isn't much wildlife. There's no much wildlife found over here. Uh, after the Mediterranean forest, we'll go to the coniferous forest. But before we reach, uh, before we discuss about the coniferous forest, let me tell you, this Mediterranean forests are also known as orchard of the world because of the huge amount of fruits cultivation. Now, let's come to the coniferous forest. These forests are also known as taiga. In Russian language, the taiga means untouched and pure. Now these forests are characterized with the tall softwood evergreen kind of forest trees. The woods of these trees because they are softwood kind of trees. So the woods of these trees are used for the manufacturing of paper, newsprint, match boxes, packing boxes etc. The example of the trees found over here are Ichi, Pine, Siddhar. And the animals that are found over here are mink, polar bear, silver fox, etc. After discussing about all the six types of forest, now it's the turn to go through the grasslands and its types. So when we talk about the grasslands, let's discuss what the grassland is. So grassland is a small kind of, we can say, plant which grows in the moderate or low rain. The place where moderate rainfall is available, there you will find the grasslands. So, so the types of grassland when we talk about, so these are of two types, basically tropical and temperate kind of grasslands. So first we will discuss about the tropical grasslands. So tropical grasslands actually occurs either side of the equator and it extends again till the tropics as it is very very clear with the term tropical itself. Now it grows in the area with moderate or low rainfall. The grasses are very tall which is about 3 to 4 meters tall and the same way tall animals are found over there. For example, elephant, zebras, giraffe, deer, leopards etc. After this, the next comes the temperate kind of grassland. So when we talk about the temperate kind of grassland, these are found in the mid latitudinal zones and in the interior part of the continents. Now the grass found over here are short and nutritious. The examples of the animals are wild buffaloes, bisons, antelopes, etc. And after the term of grasslands, the next comes the shrubs. Shrubs are a kind of vegetation that is grow in dry seasons or the areas which are a little bit a uh, desertic kind. Now the, when we talk about the shrubs, we can talk about two kinds of shrubs we can say. Thorny bushes and the tundra kind of vegetation. So when we talk about the thorny bushes which are found in the dry and hot desertic area, these are located near the western margins of the continent. The vegetation cover is very very scarce, very very less, very very minimum over here because of the less rainfall, the scanty rainfall and the scorching heat. The example of these vegetation are we can say cactus. Then comes the next one is tundra kind of vegetation. Now again when we talk about the tundra kind of vegetation, these are also limited, very very less. These grows during the short summer season it's only and tundra kind of vegetation is characterized as these are only found near the polar areas of Europe, Asia, North America 
Animals which are found here have thick fur and thick skin in order to adapt themselves, in order to protect themselves from cold climatic condition over these places. The animals are seal, walrus, polar bear, musk oxen, arctic owl, snow foxes, etc. And the plants are mosses and lichens and let me tell you these plants actually grow only in the short summer season because the climatic condition becomes very very extreme after this. So let me tell you something that we haven't discussed yet. Do you know the grasslands are known by different names in different regions. Tropical grasslands of East Africa are known as Savanna. The tropical grass, grasslands of Brazil are known as Campos. The tropical grasslands of Venezuela are known as Llanos. The temperate grasslands of Argentina are known as Pampas. The North America are known as Prairies. The temperate grasslands of South Africa are known as Welds. The temperate grasslands of Central Asia are known as Tepes. Whereas the temperate grasslands of Australia are known as Downs. And we have talked enough about the grasslands. Let me tell you something very interesting about the uh, forest. So the tropical evergreen forest of Brazil is so enormous that it is like the lungs of the earth. It is also called the lungs of the earth. And the anaconda that are found over here is one of the world's largest snake that is ever found in the tropical rainforests. It can even kill and eat a large animal such as a crocodile. Wow, what a huge one. Mediterranean trees. Now, Mediterranean trees actually adapt themselves to the dry summers with their thick barks and wax coated leaves, which actually helps them in reducing the amount of transpiration during the summer seasons. And as we have already discussed, that because of its huge fruit cultivation they are also known as orchard of the world so this is how we finish ncrt class 7 geography chapter 6 that is natural vegetation and wildlife stay tuned for our upcoming videos and for sure you can text us you can comment us on the youtube itself for any kinds of doubts or for being if you want me to be a more, little more specific towards a topic, you can always drop your comments. I will personally check it. So stay tuned. Bye bye. Take care.